You're watching News Desk. Thank you for staying with us. Let's continue with the broadcast. Let's cross over to um, the Senate where West Pokot County Boss Professor John Lonyangapu is appearing before the county's Public Accounts and Investments Committee to respond to audit queries in his county. Let's listen in live. Entry of that is original budget as at the beginning of the year. Because you are talking of under absorption, so it, we, we need to compare it with the supplementary. Ah, Chair, that is the original budget. That's the original budget. So again, we are going to face a challenge on that. Again, on issues of uh, uh, recurrent uh, budget, whether it, there was an under absorption, we need to get the right base. I would want us to focus on 3.4, on projects budgeted but not implemented, and get an explanation from the governor on the five projects listed there. Construction of governor's residence, completion of ward offices, renovation of toilets at Kapenguria County Referral Hospital, construction of isolation ward, construction of mortuary at Kacheliba Sub-County Hospital, all totaling to 57 million. Um, governor, what's your response? I'm trying to be efficient. Chair, you, you are right. Uh, the, the, these were captured in the budget but we we did our supplementary so what we should be showing here is the supplementary budget which shows if this was the original budget and that original budget was done before i came in i had to do a supplementary budget so what you should be shown chair is uh is the 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 the, 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 the supplementary budget which will now capture what we promised to do during that year that we did not do yes so so we proceed to 3.4 projects budgeted but not implemented give us a status on the five projects page six of the auditor general's report oh management response the following are the reasons for non-payment for implementation of the projects referred in the audit this amount of eight million five twenty six thousand and eighty two shillings in the original that was in the original budget was reallocated in full during the second and final final supplementary budget therefore the project was left without any funding for that implementation and i had mentioned when we were in eldoret uh, when you called us first we gave you the nca report which showed us the status of some of these projects this one had been overpaid so we could not uh, start continuing with money uh, for, for that project, yet, yet, yet it had issues which we needed resolved. Remeasurement had to be done when the report is going to come out so that we can assign money to this building. Same to the others, uh, Chair, uh, completion of ward offices. The county leadership decided to audit all ongoing projects before continuing further funding and implementation. The report by a task force established to audit a report on the ongoing projects and that of the National Construction Authority made recommendation with far-reaching implications. This affected continue, continue, continuity in the implementation of the ongoing projects. Like I've just mentioned, some were overpaid and the fellow had not completed. So to write letters to them to come and continue and, uh, and, uh, or, 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 or action be taken, some of them we wrote to ESCC, the big ones, so that they can come and do the work. So that's what happened. Refurbishment, renovation of toilets at Kapenguria Rivero Hospital. The amount of 22 million, which was in the original budget, was reallocated in full during the second and financial and the final supplementary budget. Therefore, the project was left without any funds for implementation. We did not need toilets that did not have water. We don't have water in Kapenguria, so we decided to push it to do renovation of the hospital itself. We were, we had some. Uh, um, external toilets to use for, for for that time. We have now done a very big uh, so, uh, dam that brings water for the hospital that we can be able to condense that and can go on. Our insulation ward at Kapenguria County Referral Hospital, the amount of six million which was in the original budget was reallocated in full during the second and final supplementary. Therefore, the project was left without. I can confirm to you now this financial year is getting now finished. We had, we fund we, we budgeted for this year, and uh, it is the, the the building is about to be handed over. Lastly, construction of mortuary at Kacheliba. The process, the procurement of the works for the construction of mortuary at Kacheliba Sub County Hospital was terminated when the project attracted only four bidders, 
all of whom did not have the valid NCA certificates, which required required for the scope of works. The project shall be initiated in future budgets, uh, a bond prioritization of the same. Chair, again, like we mentioned, we decided to concentrate on a theater this year. The theater is now ready, then we can now move to, to, to the other one, and we could not continue leaving money idle when uh, the bidders had failed. And that was a challenge we found. Previous film, uh, contractors in our county were doing work without valid NCA certificates, and so we could not pin them at, at the time. Now they have done, to the, uh, they must be validly registered or we don't give them any, any job. So then what we needed to have received is uh, supplementary estimates approved by the assembly. Have those been uh, provided? We brought our budget. We have our budget, which, which, which shows what I'm reading. Uh, yeah, so, so that the auditor is also guided, that you look at, uh, in terms of uh, uh, checking whether what was planned has been done, the plan could have been restated through a supplementary. So could you, pr is it in this pack? It's in this pack? Yeah. Okay, so we shall uh, look at that to consider whether the necessary measures have been taken. Uh, members, I, I, I want to urge that we move on to page number seven. On RMLF, Road Maintenance Levy Fund, I think the issue here is that work plans were not prepared, and so there's a risk of duplication. Governor, how do you respond? Chair. Yeah. <coughs> Senator Linturi. From the, from the, the response given to, to the, that, above, that, that question by the governor, and uh, having uh, perused this document before even getting to that, I would uh, want him to tell us how then that response sits with uh, what he has uh, reported on page 15, because you remember he sent and uh, and he, 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 uh, the, this money for the governor's office was uh, was reallocated to other projects, but I can see you on page 15 uh, saying that the governor's official residence is 40% done. There is also the that issue of the motion. The governor's office is 40% done and it will cost you 45 million. And then there was also there is something else I've seen here about uh, the, the, the work being done on the mortuary. So is, it, is that happening now? Uh, Chair, what, what has happened is that uh, we, we have shared with you a comprehensive document which we can, we can give afresh to Senate, to your committee, which highlights all the status of these projects that have been named here and the recommendation for each. So some will recommend we proceed to complete to, com to completion, or they recommend we do remarshment, or they recommend the contractor has to refund money, or something like that. So uh, I think uh, the, the we we can give you the copy again, so that uh, what we are what we are responded here is exactly what has been given in the in the in the in the recommendation there. But but yeah. Unless you are telling me now that, uh, for example, what you said was that the 8.5 million million shillings was fully reallocated in the supplementary budget. That is on page 12 uh, on your management uh, response, subsection, subsection A. So on page 15, there is, um, uh, yeah, page 15, uh, paragraph 10, if I may refer it as such, the project is 40% complete. It will require for 5 million to complete. The project is not a priority at the moment and will be completed in the medium term. In the meantime, we are carrying out in joint measurements to establish the final account of the completed works. There is some confusion. Unless you are telling us that uh, you factored the construction of the governor's house in the 2018-2019 financial year, and then you are trying to update us now on the progress made in the implementation of this prog uh, in the implementation of these project projects. Otherwise, this answer should not feature in uh, the report for 2017-2018. That's yeah. the clarity I'm seeking. 
S Senator Faki, before Governor responds. Chair, I had occasion to visit uh, Kapenguria last year with the um, Delegated Legislation Committee. And uh, we were taken to the compound where this governor's uh, official residence is supposed to be. The structure was uh, partly uh, constructed. And uh, it is a, a humongous structure uh, with a big, big, big compound. And uh, within the compound, there were some other offices where the county officials were operating from. For instance, the county secretary had an office within that, uh, that same area compound. So I don't know, maybe he can enlighten us more on that uh, particular office. Chair, what you saw as a fence compound, the whole of it is the governor's residence. Although it was put exactly opposite where the office is, it's a challenge for politicians because people can can come to where you are when you are not in the office. What you saw are residents for the current for the governor currently. So there was no office at all inside. You see, you can see the shell is complete. It is already roofed. Everything is there. It's just a final finishing now that is that is required to be done. When we came in, we found during that financial year, eight million five hundred and twenty-six thousand and eighty-two shillings had been say, budgeted for it. These are buildings that were not planned. So every year they just put something. It was going to take 10, 20 years to complete them at, at the rate at which the previous county government was operating. So we stopped, moved the money for other essential services. After we got the report from the NCA, which declared that even this building, as at that 40%, has been overpaid. So if it has been overpaid, We'll give you the report. Uh, I can't remember it overhead. It, has, it is in the report, uh, Chair, which we, for which we have it here. All right. The Senate County Public Accounts and Investments Committee has censored the National Treasury over late disbursement of funds to county governments. The Senator said this has caused confusion during the conciliation of bank accounts where huge variances have been witnessed between the IFMIS records and financial statements. Right there, the West Pokot County Governor Professor John Lunyangapuo, who is currently before the Senate Public Accounts and Investments Committee responding to audit queries for the 